Yo, quick video. I want to talk about how strong Razor is from Hunter x Hunter. I actually originally made this video a couple of years ago, but the quality of it was just part. The audio, man. The audio was really drinky. I think Razor is one of the most underrated characters in the Hunter x Hunter universe. No one really talks about Razor. Most people talk about the Phantom Troop, Hisoka, Quarlo, even a Lumi and guys like Kite. But a lot of people don't talk about Razor. Like he ain't the truth. I feel like Razor, he's a very strong character. When he's in a mentor. And two, he has some feats that can make him consider be strong and put him up there on the scale. One scene that, that really impressed me was the fact that he pulled up on the Phantom Troop and told them, y'all gonna have to get out of here and go the right way. This isn't the right way. And Frinks, he saw that aura, had a little sweat come down his temple. And I think that that scene is feet worthy because he got the Phantom Troop on notice. I feel like since the Phantom Troop, they're a bunch of bandits. They do what they want to do. I feel like they should have pulled up on them and, and boxed them. I feel like he should have caught the fade. Or somebody should have caught the fade. They, they didn't want that smoke. I mean, even Free said the dude was strong. And then when he was playing dodgeball with Killia Gone and Hisoka, he managed to damage Hisoka's fingers. Even though he caught the dodgeball, it still damaged him. Even when his soaker was using the bungee gun, he still was barely able to contain it because he ended up bringing his fingers, man. He broke his soaker fingers and his soaker. He's a caliber nan user. And this wasn't even a, a nan battle because I doubt Razor was going all out. Like, nah, man. He wasn't going all out. Even his soaker wasn't really going all out. Biscuit either. The only people that were considered going out, going all out were Killia, Gone, and the rest of the other guys. But, according to, like, the data book or something like that, the scale... He got like the same ranking as his Soka, like 24. Because we know that don't really mean anything when it comes to a Nim battle because it's all about how you use your aura and it's about the hot ability. But based on the techniques that Razor's been showing, you can only imagine how he will use them in a Nim battle because that Nim. Softball thing. I think it's OP. Or at least powerful. Because he can use that to. Pretty much knock somebody's block off. He has another emission move. Where he can just. Emit these. Humanoid. Type. 
type of avatars and they're not weak at all they're actually pretty strong and let's say he got different variations of these hot suit abilities like let's say he has different variations of those humanoid nin ability let's say he can turn them into like golems or something like that with high durability and high attack power and let's say they can attack with a dodgeball or something like that that would be mad OP and it would be trouble for somebody in the, in the NIM battle because he would have like both offense and defense and let's say that's a different variation of the softball or You could probably make one that's bigger. Make one that moves faster than sound. Who knows, right? This dude probably got a, a manipulation ability. It wouldn't be too far-fetched to think because the guy, his name category is near manipulation. And he's a near enhancement. I do think at the minimum he'll be worthy enough to join a Phantom Troop. Even the Zodiac, he'll be worthy. I mean, look, Liario, he's part of the Zodiac. And I really want to see more from Razor, though. I want to see what he's capable of. And I think a good way of showcasing Razor's abilities is having him be part of the Dark Continent. Have him travel with Gene. Because I do think he's a high tier character. And the same thing goes for guys like Kriopika's Master. The guy that fought against his soaker in the Heavens Arena. The guy with the tiger, the tiger bite fist. I hope he's still alive. Because he was up there, man. And he probably improved dramatically if he's still alive. I'd like to see him duke it out one last time. But Razor is that dude. I feel like people don't give Razor the respect he deserves. And what inspired me to make this video in the first place when I originally made it is that Nan Mac, he made a video about Hanzo being underrated, which I agree. And I can't wait to see what he's capable of, especially in the Nan battle. But. I noticed that he never really made a video about Razor. No one made a video about Razor. At least at that point when I originally made this video. You know, who's to say Razor couldn't help go and get his name back? Would have gone somehow met Razor somewhere. You never know. But y'all need to tell me y'all thoughts on this because not many people talk about Razor. Yo, let's try to put some respect on the dude's name. That's all I got to say. Peace.